everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Today we're doing another comic book unboxing. You guys, Keith goes through these so quickly. They are very easy to photograph and very easy to lift. I do think that there may be a learning curve or it might take a little bit longer to comp the comics if they were unfamiliar to you. Comics are already familiar to Keith. He's a big nerd. So they're actually really easy for him and he goes through them very quickly. So we're ordering as fast as he's listing them. We're ordering more. We do order them from the Goodwill Blue Box. They come in boxes of 20 for $19.95 and then there's like $7 shipping. The American Thrift Supply, where I order my bulk lots of plush, also has boxes of $20, 20 comics in each box. But they have always been sold out or unavailable when I go there to look. So I did sign up to get a notification from them if they ever get any. Because I just want to see. Like, I don't want to always just buy my stuff from one place. So I want to see what American Thrift Comics are like in comparison to the Goodwill Blue Box. However, you got to get them where you can get them, and Goodwill seems to always have them in when we're ready to order more. So we always order five packs or five boxes. I say packs because they actually send them to you like this. So when we order five of their comic boxes, we get one giant box of five packs inside, and they don't give you a discount for shipping or anything. You still got to pay the shipping on each one. Um, it's a good deal. We've been doing pretty well with them. And again, uh, we think they're really super fast to list, but that could be coming from our point of view. Um, you know, when I first was learning jeans, that was a hard learning curve for me because I don't know anything about clothes. So um, I'll put the link down below for the Goodwill Blue Box. I'll also put the link down below. It will be an affiliate link. So if you do click it and purchase, I make a couple pennies, but I'll put the link for the bags and boards that we use for our comics. I order them from Amazon and you get a hundred of each for like $21. It's a really great deal. Let's jump on in. So we're going to um, look at all these comics. They are pre-opened. They are opened out of the box and pre-cut. If you've ever seen me uh, actually literally unbox something, it's very painful. So Keith did um, set me up so they're pre-cut and we can just get into them and look. Some of them will come bagged and boarded like this. We do not ship in these. All of our comics go into a new bag with a new board behind it from our supply of bags and boards. But what we do do is we save these old ones and we'll put like three or four in with the comic when we ship it rather than always having to cut cardboard to support it in shipping. So this is G.I. Joe, a real American hero. We've got Daredevil with a motorcycle advertisement on the back. That's fitting. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. And if you're wondering how we store the comics, we have comic book boxes and they're in, they're bagged and boarded. As soon as he photographs them, they're bagged and boarded and then they go in our comic book boxes on the shelf. And they're in alphabetical order, just the way a comic book store would do. So, like, all the Spider-Mans are together under S's. We don't have, like, the amazing Spider-Man under A's. All the Spider-Mans are together under S's. All the Supermans are together. All the Iron Mans. Because they all have, like, different names. Like this, for instance. Um, Star Wars X-Wing. So, we just keep all them together, just the way a comic book store alphabetizes them. Um, you could really do it any way you wanted because it's your system, right? However you keep your inventory has to make sense for you. This is a really thick one. Trucker, Dark Horse Comics. I see a lot of those. Armageddon, 2001 Legion. This is from 1991. Here's an advertisement for Game Boy. I like the advertisements on the back. 52, week 42. We have a lot of these. You can always think about um lotting your comics up too if you have like a whole bunch in a series you can put them together we don't because our point of view is if you are trying to get all of you know the, let's say you're trying to get all the 52s and you have 27 but you're missing 44 you're not going to want to buy a lot that has them all 
um, most collectors or people looking to finish off a series or looking for a specific issue. But you could. We just don't. We choose not to. Also, um, this is a graphic novel. This is nice. What a lot of our friends do, um, if they have a bunch in a series, and let's say you have four in a row from from 52, and one of them comps at 40 bucks, and the other one's comp a little bit lower, you can just throw the cheaper ones in with the more expensive one. There's lots of ways to do it, and you have to decide for yourself. This is G.I. Joe. Just like with anything you resell, the decision to, this is nice, cover. The decision to do lots or not is up to you individually as a seller and how you store your inventory. I can tell you how we do things, and if that would work for you, that's great. You're more than welcome to emulate us. But you have to make sure that what you're doing is going to work for you because everyone is different. New Universe Kickers, not a football comic. When worlds collide, look at this. When nerds and sports collide, <laughs> that's great. We have um, Amazing Man. Look at this. Oh, look at the commercial on the back. Let Oreos put you in the Mickey Mouse Club. This one's got to be old. I'm looking for a date. 1987. DC Connect Night Terrors. Okay, and then I'm glad I got one of these because I wanted to talk about this really briefly too. Free comic book day. So comic stores have free comic book days. The one here usually does it once a month. And when you go in on that day, you get a free comic. And it literally will say right on it that this is a free comic from free comic book day. So these are not worth a lot of money to resell because you can get them for free. So this is something that we have considered maybe lotting up like just taking some free ones and putting them together. Um, so that would be something you might want to do. Free comic book day, Star Wars Adventures. A terrifying... Oh, I got to read this one before we sell it. Here's the Han and Chewie. Huh. Then we have um, Mother of Madness, Mona. This is more like a graphic novel. It's got the thicker cover and like the full color pages inside. This is nice. And then we have Batman. Batman's another good example of alphabetizing because you got detective comics, you've got Batman villains, it got all different kinds of Batmans, they're just all together under these. All right, that's that stack. Let's open another one. Maybe kids should start pulling them out of the bags for me too, because I feel like this is also painful to try to watch. I see Flintstones. Happy Flintstones. You'll see that. Oh my gosh. It even has um John Goodman from when he played Freddy. Fred, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> he played Fred Flintstone in the Flintstone movie. Um, so they have him on the front. Double vision glasses and clothes, and they're here. A lot of times when you buy these older comics wholesale. The posters or the glasses or whatever they originally came with aren't going to be there. This is unopened and still sealed in its original bag and has the glasses. And I'm looking for a date. 1994. So that's pretty cool. We got the classic illustrated. Why? Look at this. So make your, on the back, it says make your selection from these thrilling, exciting, romantic adventure stories. For only 15 cents a piece. And it has the mail in order form. This has got to be old. I don't see a date, but you know, the 15 cents a piece should tell you something. That it's old. Three collectible comic books, Marvel Comics. So this is in its original shrink wrap as well. Built together. Um, so there's three comics in here. That's pretty cool. We have more of the classic illustrated. This one's 25 cents. See, this one was 15 cents. And then on the back, you can mail order more for 25 cents. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Such a nerd. You ain't got to tell me. I already know. No one needs to tell me I'm a nerd. I already know. Um, do you guys remember when the M&Ms came in the tubes? Oh my gosh. 
The M&M &M Minis, that's what they were. They still have those? G.I. Joe and the Transformers. Super Teen Family presents Green Lantern and Hawkman. Plus, Adam, oh my goodness. And on the back, this looks really, this looks like a really old advertisement on the back. I'm looking for a date on the front. I see September. I don't see a year, but this looks pretty old. We got baseball card ad in the first page. You can a lot of times tell just by the back that they're going to, you know, if they're older, just by the advertisements, you can almost age them. This is Conan the Barbarian. We have some Conan the Sumerians, but now we have Conan the Barbarian. Batgirl Endgame. Avengers. This is uh, Marvel Action Avengers. So that's another example. Like all of our Avengers are together under the A's, even, even if it says, you know, Marvel Action or Ultra Avengers or whatever. Snake Eyes, Dead Game. Do, do, do. We've got Marvel Action Spider Man. Should I keep going? Do, do, do. Like a big old nerd. Look at this Wolverine. September. I wish they always put years on the front. Empire Avengers Fantastic Four. This one's really neat. 100th Anniversary The Avengers. Forever Evil Justice League. I like the Justice League. I prefer Marvel. I've talked about this before. Overall, um, Marvel Cinematic Universe is much better than the DC movies or anything they've tried to do. Um, but Batman villains, I just love them, and I really do like Wonder Woman and the Justice League. We have Jay and Silent Bob on the back. That's cool. Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. Strange Visitor versus Superman. <laughs> and then we have a Corn Pops. Y'all ever eat Corn Pops? I ate them as a kid. They're too sugary for me now. Not a big sweets person. All right, we have Tales of the Teen Titans is our first one here. I was going to put the comic over here and hold this up for you to look at. This is a professional channel. Look at the, uh, the it's amateur hour here at the Hippo Head again. Masters of the Universe, The Power of He-Man video game. Do you remember She-Ra? I, she I liked He-Man, but I liked She-Ra too. She was cool. Superman in action. This is a neat cover. I like the cover right here of the puzzle. And then on the back, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And one of those infamous Got Milk ads. Legion of Superheroes. Sarah Michelle Geller is her real name, by the way. Uh, Green Lantern Corp. And then we have Constantine from the DC Comics advertisement on the back. Ultimate X-Men. <laughs> uh, I love just all the artwork and the stuff on the back is great. This is Battle Toads on the back here of the Hero Killers Part 2 Spectacular Spider Man from 1992. Oh, this is neat. Oh, this is really cool. Look, there is a Lion King ad on the back. Lion King came out in 1994. That is one of those facts that I just have in my head. That Lion King came out in 1994. So this has to be, I'm not seeing a year on it, but it has to be at least 94. Because um, this is coming soon to theater. So this could even be 93. He can take it out and inspect it when he does the pictures. This is really cool. Barbie fashion. And then Lion King advertising before it ever even came to theaters. Here comes Daredevil. My friends can beat up your friends. That's cool. Batman Day. Batman Endgame Special Edition. This one's got to be newer because there's an um, advertisement for the show Gotham for 2015. It's 2015 down here. That was a good show. By the way, if you like Gotham and Batman's villains and everything, that is a great show. Love it. Deadpool, 
Ultraverse, Solitaire. I'm trying to read upside down. Because losing sucks. <laughs> Super Nintendo. <laughs> um, American Flag. And there's the back of that one. This pile is getting big. Naive Interdimensional Commando Koalas. Oh my lord, it's koala bears. Look how cute. Koala bears. We've got Solar Man. Solar Man. I can't read that. Of the. If you can read it, let me know. We got the Family Tree. Comet. Amazing Comics. E Mutants. Dynamo 5. Mr. Muscle Beach, 1994. <laughs> That's so funny. Some of these just really amuse me. I'm telling you. Timothy Truman's Scout War Shaman. That's neat. Um, the back is kind of cool, too. These mail order things just tickle me pink. Times have sure changed, haven't they? Did you guys ever do it? Well, I'm aging myself. And you'll have to age yourself in the comments if you admit to this. Did you ever order anything from, like, the magazines or the comic book where you had to cut out the paper and mail it in? We have another one of these, which is cool. That's one listing with two available. Makes your life easier. Multi-quantity listings. Canto 3. But yeah, let me know if you ever did. I also remember from when I was a kid, like they would have offers on material boxes or even the cartoons you would watch, where if you sent a self-addressed stamped envelope, they would send you stuff. Do you guys remember that? I feel so old today. Baron and Rude Nexus. Oh, look. Do you guys remember the Beauty and the Beast one day, Hamilton? I feel like this whole, every time I go through comics, because a lot of them are older and they have older TV shows and stuff on the back, it's kind of like, do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? And I just feel old, but that's okay. Do you guys remember the um, Beauty and the Beast TV show? Linda Hamilton was also Sarah Connor in Terminator. This is Astro City. The Fish Police. Not the Fish Police. Ultraverse Rad. I can't even read that one. It looks like the Weird Warrior. I don't know. I cannot read it. That's Keith's job, right? If I can't read it, he's got to look it up. Wonder Man. Oh, no. Not Wonder Man. Extreme! The Defenders. Oh, my goodness. This has to be old. Look at the back. Get a Kool-Aid Man comic book for free. Just send to the address below. Here it is. Um, just got to send off to the address below. Incredible Hulk. Archie and Armstrong. Hawkeye. Justice League. Oh, <laughs> didn't even show it to you. Uh, Jack Snap. Superman, these are cool. These are really cool. Look at this commercial on the back here. Commercial. Advertisement commercial. They are so cool. The Bark Tood. This one's got Advanced Dungeons and Dragons advertisement on the back. Or commercial. <laughs> That's Legion of Superheroes. And then we have the Electric Warrior. Okay, one more pack to go through. You guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about comic books, or about reselling in general, you can always let, let um, leave a comment down below. I do answer everybody. I do get behind on the comments, though, so sometimes it can take me a little while to get back to you. If you need a very quick, urgent response, or you want a response faster, you can join our Facebook group called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link down below. And if you tag me in there, I'm, I'm a little quicker to respond. 
Also, there's hundreds, thousands of resellers in that group that are very nice, very kind, and very willing to answer your questions. So you might even get the answer from somebody else quicker than waiting on me to answer comments here. But I do like to get comments here too, so drop me a hello down below. DC Universe Rebirth Batman. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. With Captain Marvel on the back. Here comes Daredevil, the man without fear. That's a neat cover. We've got Batman. And another one of these. I think we already had a Batman that looked like this, right? And then here's another one of these. Um, Mother of Madness. Speaking of Batman Detective Comics, remember I mentioned those at the beginning? Here's one of those. DC Connect Night Terrors. Here comes Daredevil. Got a couple of those. A couple of those. One more of those. <laughs> so quite a few of the Here Comes the Daredevil. Another one. Most of these on the back are cars and motorcycles. It's a theme. It's a theme advertisement for Daredevil. We have a Justice League of America, another Daredevil. The biggest hero is a 2012 symbol. That's the advertisement on another Here Comes Zero. Somebody must have gotten rid of their entire collection of um, Daredevil comics. And we ended up with it. Here's another one. So that's a lot of Daredevil. That's pretty cool. That is the entire box. So again, I'll leave a link down below for you to um, get some of these for yourself if you'd like. And to our bags and boards. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. And uh, join our Facebook group. We already talked about that. So I guess all that's left to tell you to do is go be productive, go make some money. And thank you for watching, guys. Y'all are the best. Bye.